Hello everyone, this is Harry, and uh, I apologize for the amounts of videos that I've been doing, um, but I wanted to answer a question from a subscriber. The question was, is it luck or hard work that really gets you the most success in online sales and online business? And I would like to say, as an answer to that question, it is neither one. It is mostly mentality. Um, being able to uh, use your mind to attract um, success, sales to yourself. Um, obviously, if you don't have items to sell or if you don't um, spread the word that you have items for sale, you won't sell anything. You know, if only you know about what you're selling, then no one's going to buy it. All right, so it's an art form of discovering what works, discovering how to improve on things. It's all mental power for the most part. Um, if you try to work hard or work harder, it's probably good. Um, but it's not necessary. It's all about using your mind. The more you can use your mind, uh, the better for you. So uh, what am I talking about using your mind? I'm not talking about being intelligent or smarter than everybody else. I'm talking about having a desire to be successful, having the desire to win, and being curious and creative. You know, um, for example, uh, here's kind of like a little shot glass. What would this go for? You know, post it for like five ninety nine on eBay, Amazon, or something like that. You know, just little stuff like that. Figuring things out. You're gonna fail a little bit. You're gonna have some success as you start ser selling certain things. You'll learn what works because you'll be curious. Uh, some of the stuff that don't sell, you'll learn up uh, that doesn't move. So you'll always know, and you'll know what things move and for what price. It's all about forward movement. And it's like I've always been saying on this channel, I talk about just making an extra two to three hundred dollars a month. So uh, the only way you could fail at that is if you don't save up that income for about three, you know, two, uh, three years without touching it for any personal use. I always tell people that. So the brain power is also learning how to manage your money in a proper way, how to separate one income from another. Like, obviously... Most people who start businesses are hybrids. What they do is they have a, a job that pays the bills and then they start a business on the side, which is very smart. But the thing is, sometimes people get addicted to their own money and they see that they make more money here, so they start spending it just like they spend the other money. And you don't want to do that. So you want to keep uh, two things separate from each other. You want to be uh, very, 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 very frugal with your business income and with your other income, you know, do whatever with, or maybe see if you can increase that as well. Uh, if you work a full-time job and your job offers overtime, do it. It will really help your business out. That way you could take an extra 50 bucks and stick it over here, you know, and help manage that money while you're playing around for about three to four years. So it's all about money management and it's all about using your mind uh, to produce a desired outcome. So you got to want it, you know. Um, when I first started doing eBay, after I had the opportunity to post 100 items, you best believe I had 100 items posted, and I was selling about seven or eight items a day. And it was, excuse me, it was moving. Uh, I was moving. Everything was great. Um, so there it is. That's the answer to my question. It's It's mental. It, it's all about the mind, you know, what your mind wants to do. Um, I mean, what you desire to do with your mind, like what, what kind of energy you're trying to attract. Um, you might have to change a lot of habits, uh, change some of the things you do on a regular basis. Maybe you need to start studying more, um, reading up on sales and, you know, watching stuff on YouTube. Watching my channel might help. Um, and just increase your intake because this is a long 
road. This is a long struggle and your destiny is based on what you're willing to do. Um, I don't think that people are taught. I think they're inspired. Um, if you try to give advice to people a lot, you'll find that you're going to be ignored because uh, the people that really want to follow what you have to say are the people who are inspired by you. Um, sometimes you don't know they're inspired, but you find out sometime later when they talk to you and they let you know, hey, you were my inspiration. And, you know, that's usually what works. Somebody who is inspired by you would try to follow what you're, you know, talking about. So it's all about using your mind and learning how to manage, using your mind to manage money because, and, and change your attitude about what money is and how it works. Money is a tool and it is only a tool. So remember, the more you have of it in abundance, the more you can use it to make more or use it to produce a desired outcome. Um, not, um, money doesn't work in different ways. Like, suppose you're like into like check scamming and you know, crime and all this other stuff. The reason why you're always gonna be needy and you're never gonna really do very well is because uh, for you, uh, money is just something you wanna snatch and you know, grab and not earn and, and you don't wanna build it. Whereas an, an entrepreneur or somebody who's a hybrid is, is learning a life craft and you're building a temple. So that's basically what I have to say about that. And I hope that I answered your question. And thank you very much, everybody, for being patient. And uh, subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with your friends.